The 10 News Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Yeah, right, like four-wheel drive can help with snow, but with ice, uh, yeah, it doesn't take much. Meanwhile, back to our picture of the day. This is uh, the pretty side of all the snow and ice from falling spring. Great shot in uh, northern Allegheny County. If you guys have any pictures, especially if you went hiking at the Cascades this weekend, send us your picture at WSLS.com slash pin it. Another cold one out there this morning. Withville, Blacksburg, South Boston at 26. Roanoke City at 32. Lynchburg and Danville down to 28 degrees. That's cold, but thankfully not as cold as the past few mornings. Highs today, upper 40s and lower 50s with clouds increasing. Maybe a few stray showers south of the Roanoke Valley. And the clouds eventually providing a nice blanket overnight as we fall to about 35 to 39 degrees. Here's first thing tomorrow morning, maybe a few stray showers, especially again south of the Roanoke Valley. As we go through the afternoon tomorrow, this is 4 p.m. Notice your showers are pretty hit or miss. They become a little more widespread, though, Wednesday night to Thursday morning. Reason being is we've got a front that takes our moisture and lifts it, kind of wrings it out like a wet towel. So that's what we'll see off and on throughout the day on Thursday, especially up until about lunchtime. Gradually into the evening, you may see more of a scattering of showers Thursday. Possibility for a rumble of thunder again south of the Roanoke Valley. But by Friday, Day, you would expect us to cool down. In fact, it's going to be the complete opposite. Highs in the 60s, whereas your average is in the 40s. So feeling like early April out there. I went back, checked the records. Record highs are in the 70s. Don't think we're quite going to hit that. There's our first storm system coming in Thursday. A second one right on its heels that by Saturday gives us another shot of some rain with rain totals between now and then about one to two inches. So that with some snow melt may add to some localized flooding. We'll have to watch out for streams and creeks, things like that. But at the moment doesn't look like a major threat, just something that we're monitoring behind the scenes for you in the New River Valley, 45 to 50 degrees today and tomorrow. How about 55 to 60 Thursday and Friday afternoons again Friday. The records like 71, so we're not hitting that Saturday's a cool one as we got some showers moving back into the region. Sunday looks like a decrease in clouds from morning to afternoon, then highs in the 30s for us by Monday for the Roanoke Valley, upper 40s, lower 50s today and tomorrow. More scattered showers tomorrow, more of a soaking rain at least Thursday morning, a high of 66 Friday, Saturday, another soaker on the way and then behind that we do actually cool down, but not like this recent cold blast temperatures 46 to 51 between Sunday and Monday.